Well, hey there, everybody. Just want to take a little time out just to thank everybody that signed up for my membership. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You touched my soul. Thank you so much. If you haven't, hit that little join button and join the family. Much appreciated. I do got some stuff down the road, and it's going to be fun and exciting. So once again, I just want to say thank y'all. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer review. Yeah. So I was looking at my G2 Sideswap the other day, and I was like, man, I wish he looked more badass. Like he did in the comics, man. He had all the weapons, that snarled look and everything. He just like ready to just take on all the Decepticons, man. So, well, got on the internet, and I found Matrix Workshop M-40. It's going to take care of that for me. Man, he's going to be turned into badass G2 side swap like he's supposed to be. I need the sticker set as well from Toy Hacks to make him a little more green. You know, more 90s, you know. Everything. But I'll start with this. So yeah, this is Matrix Workshop M-40. It's just an upgrade kit. It's a basic uh, weapons and everything uh, to make him look a little, a little more badassery and everything. So let's just get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right, folks, there is M40 Matrix Workshop add-on kit for G2 Sideswipe. So let's take a look at all the goodies. So first, he comes with his sword. It's nicely painted silver. It's got some indentions in there as well, like he's been either hitting Decepticons or rocks or something. So pretty cool. Now, mine's a little warped a little bit. I might have to work with it, put some warm water or something like that. But yeah, mine came a little warped. Then you get his big effing gun right here, and it is... Just black plastic. Now it can work as a shoulder cannon as well. You can hold his hand. Now there are a couple blast effects that work with this. This one right here will fit in it like that. And then this long one right here will fit in it as well. So playability, folks. Then you get his two nice guns right here. This is good. It looks like nice sculpt work in there. Silver paint as well. And you got one that looks like a, a, a motor. It looks really good. Got some nice detail sculpt work throughout there. Painted silver as well on the side. Looks really good. That's cool. And then you get his two signature tire uh, spike tires. And they are sharp. Be careful. And they will go on his shoulders as well. And they're painted silver. And nice silver rims. That's awesome. Then, you got his belt that goes around his chest. It's like a little zip tie. Now you can push it through, and there's a little release button right here. So it can release it too as well. And you got this little thigh thing. Uh, I don't know what to call it, but you got two grenades right here. And you're going to put these bullets on here. And you're going to attach it to his thigh, and I'll show you that. But Some sculpt work right there for the grenades. Looks good. You got this little adapter. And this is going to go for the car mode. And you can make this ridiculous uh, carry all the weapon kind of thing. But I'll show you all that in a second. But that's a little adapter you can use. And you got some nice accessories. You got some bullets. Like I said, this, these uh, bullets right here, they're all painted in gold. And these will go around the thighs. It just got, now when I clipped off the little, because it's on a sprue, it will damage the paint a little bit, but... Eh, you can be, you know, weathered. You can say the weather or something like that. That's pretty cool. See, that's got some stuff already. Got some rockets. That's going to go around the belt. Some more bullets. There. Thing on the back, it just kind of clipped off the paint. Like I said, you can say it's weathered or something or battle damage. And you got some pouches as well, these little green things. And they're pretty cool. No paint, just green plastic. So that is all the goodies that this comes with, man. Awesome. So give me a second and we'll put this thing together. All right. So what we're going to do is we'll just take this gun out right now. It's a little puny little thing. Now, you take a sword and you can hold it in either hand. That's pretty cool. Slicing and dicing. That's awesome. Now you can take his... Big effing gun. You can hold it. I say that you can hold it like that, and you can flip it out, and you can use it as a shoulder cannon as well. That's cool. 
And you can store it back here too. If you want to, if you don't want to carry that gun. And you can, it's on a little thing right there. And then you could probably take your sword if you want to slide it in there. I can hold it. You could try to work with it or something like that. But you have that option as well. These guys, two guns. Show you those real quick. Like that. And like this. That's bad. That is badass. Then you take his tires. And that's how I'm going to display him. You just find that little notch right there. Put it right there. And right there. And there you go. That is badass. Look at that. So that is how you use his weapons. I'm going to put the... Uh, the um, bullets and everything on the thing right here. And then I'm gonna put the bullets on this right here and I'll show you and I'll have everything put on and we'll look at him from there. All right, folks, there it is all armed up. The last thing I was gonna put on was this. Like I said, you just put the bullets in right there. Just snap them on right there. And then there's a slot right here and it will go on either thigh. It doesn't matter which way you want. And it'll slide into that. And you just line it up and there you go. Now he's a pure bad ass. Now, only issue I really have is this belt right here, or the zip tie, it does interfere with this. Now the uh, tire will go on there, but it kind of looks like, you know, it's like it's leaning up a little bit. I can't push it over any farther. It just won't go any farther. So that's a little, but it's fine. I mean, it's not a big deal. And you also, like I said, you can carry the sword back there. That little strap, that's pretty cool. And then the gun back there. So, yeah. Looks pretty badass now, man. I just need some sticker set and he'll, he'll be complete. So there he is with the new gun belt and everything. You just slide everything through. It's got little slot or holes and you just slide them through and everything. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that looks pretty badass. I like it. I'm going to show y'all, um, I'm going to transform him into a car and I'll show you how you can <laughs> make this ridiculous, uh, thing where you can carry uh, most of the weapons. So there you go. All right, there he's in car mode, so let's take this thing and let's uh, put it together. And like I said, it's huge. I mean, it's an option. I'm never going to do it, you know, leave it as is. But so you take this, the sword, you got this right here, you plug it into there. Then you take your other gun and you don't drop it. And you put it like this. There's a hole, tab it in there like that. Then you take your big effing gun. Move this down to there like that. Now this is not a secure. I mean, it's it just falls in there, so it's really loose. So, but then you take the tires, and this is the spot right here. They got little holes like a slot right there. I'm gonna put the bottom one on first. It's not really a secure kind of thing. I mean, it it, it works, but it you know kind of see if I can get that together. I don't know that's even going to stay together. All right. So it's really loose. Then you take that adapter that I showed you. And then you try to, this is going to be hard because it's a hinge and you got to swerve it in there. All right. <laughs> there you go. That, if you want to display it like that, hey, you're more than welcome to. It's your transformer. But that's, you know, that's just a little too much. But. It's an option, and options are always awesome for Transformers. So there you go. See, that's not really a tight fit at all. So there you go. It's just going to dangle on there. So you can just work with it, and you can make it stick, I guess. But there you go. That's how you store it in um, alt mode.
Folks, let's talk about the Matrix Workshop M-40 add-on kit for G2 size swap from Siege or Warp Cybertron, whatever you want to call it. I like it. It's a great add-on set. I love it. Little issues here and there. Now the gun, the big effing gun right here, this, uh, the handle doesn't really stay in. I wish it kind of locked in place a little better, but, um, it's fine. And I forgot to mention, you know, you may not like that part right here, you know, the, uh, the zip tie coming out. You can cut it off if you want to and still work with it. But um, if you don't like that, just hanging out there, there's that option and everything. But I like everything. I love the sword. The sword is cool. Mine's a little bent. I can fix that. I love the little cane guns. Those are the nice. I love all the accessories for the, uh, you know, the bullets and the rockets and everything. That's cool. I love the uh, rocket or the uh, spike tires. That's cool. You know, that's really nice and everything. They're painted. Uh, only, you know, like I said, I told you about the, you know, the belt kind of comes up and it, you know, kind of lopsides this up a little bit. It's not too terrible. I mean, you can't really tell unless you look at it. I like the little thigh thing for him with the weapon or the bullets and the grenades. I mean, he's armed up to the T. I like that. It's really nicely done. Uh, like I said, I definitely I recommend it. It's a great set. I need to get uh, the sticker set for him so he'll be just G2'd out and everything. But yeah, overall, I really like it. You can put blast effects on the gun. That's awesome. Um, now the uh, alt mode thing, eh, you know, it's an option. And like I said, options are always good in Transformers. It's not for me. It just looks really just, you know, ugh, like that. But if you like it like that, hey, you win. You can store them in weapon or in alt mode, and that's awesome. But for me, eh, it's kind of a, you know, thing. But I love the option where you can take the belt off. You know, like I said, you can. There's a little clip right here. You can just unfasten that, and it will take the uh, belt off and everything. But yeah, overall, it looks really good. I like it. Wish somebody make a head sculpt, you know, maybe him, you know, snarling or something. That would be pretty sweet. But I need the sticker set to make them look really great. But overall, well done. Matrix Workshop, I really like their stuff. They, they make some really good stuff. And they painted the weapons, too. I love that. All right. Well, I hope you like that little uh, add-on kit review from Matrix Workshop. Hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Helps out the channel. It really does. Uh, hit me up with, uh, you know, if you don't, haven't subbed yet, definitely go down there. It really helps me out. I'm almost at 5,000 subs. Yeah, and uh, hit me up some comments. Tell me we thought of this. Has anybody got this yet, or is anybody gonna get it? Um, I got off mine. I got mine off of tfsafari.com. You can go in there and you can get Matrix Workshop, Doctor Wu, um, Ratchet Operations. You can get all that stuff. So uh, really cool and everything. So yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next uh, add-on kit review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell has bro, and good night, folks.